Yes, you're back in this small workshop here, right? Um, mm -hmm. Tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I do when the level show people? Because I'm working on a, on a bed, right? With a, with a, you know, ice bed, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's bed here. Yeah. All ah, right, bloody. You see? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Is that panel? Is that two side bed? Uh, this is mahogany, son. This way, this way here is mahogany. This here is a mat. And this here is a piece of teak. And then the little notch in the wood there. That's how this comes. So we'll fix that. Right? There's two sides, right and left, darkness, night, uh, you know, balance. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do, right now we are about to show the panel this time. So if I don't see, yeah. 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 this is a queen side bed frame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let me see your teeth. Let me see your teeth. Right. So let us let us check the size of this, this bed frame. Huh? Right. This bed frame is what? 61 and three quarters. Come and look at it from, see? 61 and 3 quarters. You have to be here, you see? 61 and 3 quarters. That is the width, the width, the size of a queen size mattress. Queen size mattress, that's the queen size, what is given as a queen size mattress, is 60 by 80. Right? 60 by 80. That is what is considered to be queen size. And when we build our beds, we make the mattress flip, flush here on the side. So that when you um when you rest the mattress on, it don't have no excess because a lot of people look at the bed and say, Oh, that bed is a queen size. Yes, it is. Because it falls on the inside of this and this panel here, 61 and three quarter. So that is actually an inch and three quarter bigger than the mattress in width. Right? So what we're going to do is on the opposite side, which will be the the head, we're going to put in another panel like this. So as we stick the panel, you know, work, small workshop style. So uh, let me move this on to the side here now. Ah, boy, it's not going to fall like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think it's 50 years old. I don't know. But I don't know. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to push it across the grain. And I'll explain in some of the videos. I explain quick, simple, right? You know, like it's a cutting across the wood grain. See, if you look at the wood grain and you can see what wood grain runs, it runs like this. And what happens is that some of the hard lumber that we have down here in the Caribbean, if you look, you can see that the grains, they will run both sides. In other words, it lies this way, it lies down the side, and, you know, it lies down this side. So what is the best way to do is we cut it across. Show you what I mean. Alright? Because this is from the Caribbean here, and these are bad. Ah, that's one. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Right? So it's called trapeze. I'm going to trapeze this piece of wood. Now, usually, you have to get a face side, which will be one side here. So you have to get, with all things that you're doing in the you have to get a face side and a face edge of all of you know, different tools. But it will be like a straight edge here and here. As the basis of starting everything. So, if you have a rough piece of board, the first thing you want to get it here, you're going to get here. And that's where you'll see, that's where you'll get the idea of what is considered to be a square. Right? If you to work, so you get the square and you put the square on the edge. Right? And when you look at it, you will see that the edge of it is a square. So, you want to get on top here, the face, and an edge. That's the basis to start because when you need to cut anything, you need to have this edge here. Right? Okay, should all we get that? But we yeah. are different classes. So now, I feel you know how much blade you need on, the, on this plane. You know, you can to, you know, pass your finger like that to cut it off, you know? And then you can balance it. In simple terms. In simple terms, we mean like balance the blades. Simple. You know. So if you, you know, if you look at the blade like this, mm -hmm, you can see where. It moving from side to side. So what you want to do is you want to get it level, right? As best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? 
then you can see how the depth, right? By thin neck, so you can feel. And then you come to the on top here, get a little oil to put on the body. Because this is a real workshop, you know. Right? Yeah, I don't know, right? Put a little thing on the bottom here, so. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, okay? Because mm -hmm. I will call on it. Do not disrupt the class. Because I will call on some of you to pick over the class. Do not. Alright? So now you put this here. You see it's tight then. Grab it a little bit. So that means put it on a little more blade on it. Right? So you grab it more. You start to go like this. So you put it on a little more blade. Okay, I have to watch any better than this. Right? You don't want to have it off key. You don't want to have it. You don't want to have it level. Level at the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. So you put it up. <laughs> Right? And now, take your time. And then. Right? And then. Now, this little piece of wood here. Right? Yeah, not today. Hmm? Not today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Right? Let's take Let's take all this piece of wood. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a piece of board, but if you're playing with a piece of if you're playing with a piece of board on the edge, you have a piece of board on the edge of the bench where you jam it right on I'm shopping from that side. You can take it off. Mm -hmm. Do not drop this on the ground side, because I have these knees here. And get it. Right. Good. Goody, 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 goody. Right? So you see how you Not what is considered to be not 
nothing more than grains all go. Watch. Yeah, I'm Watch it. And yet, yeah. if it will move out of it, you have a cup. 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 You have it's everything. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, this is really events that happen in our workshop, right? <laughs> like, the nail will pop out. Because we put in a force on it. So, you know, yeah, don't use no set of nails. I don't find nails to. I don't really use this. Just use a nail gun. <laughs> a bad nail. Right? But I still have to show some people how you could use a hammer. Because some people might think, you know, the hammer was me. So, right. So you feel it? Right? No. Right. So you dig it up here, so. As you could have a green cross, it makes up here. So you dig it up here. And when you all wear a silk, it makes up. No. See, as we look, we get in it closer to what we want, right? See, I have Dig so what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to try to take out a little bit, drop it in the blade a little less. Because how we have so the grains when I know how, so the grains they stick up in an old vein. Right? You looking at it? So what I will do is I want to show anyhow. Right? So we put a little more blade right here. And what you do now is uh, This is not one from any Caribbean, right? And in the more, put it with a coarse, hard, tough. Anyone that is, that is, is in the more, yes, yeah, say coarse. Right? As you see, you can see the progress on the front, you know, compared to the back of the reactor. So, to do this, this video here, yeah. you see it coming along. You put a little edge on the on the stone, right? In a thing way. So what we're gonna do is that I have a two sided for the stone is two sides, right? And then the stone. Right? Um, and we have a mixture here, we have a mixture here of um drink some tea. <laughs> tea get well. Turn on the gas if you see anything man. You can't let it not too hard. Uh -huh. Mm hmm Slow. Yeah. What? Not too hard. Okay, man. And they go see I shouldn't dance, but you just got them when you're in the computer people dancing. They have a chill and look like. Mm -hmm. She's always been a workshop, you know? Mm-hmm. Ah, but that's a workshop, that's I guess so. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? What's Do 
So we have a two side oil, oil stone, right? One side is a, what is considered to be the coarse side where you'll grind, and the other side where the second side where I will use in terms that they teach me so I can really tell you how, right? And you should try to use your two hands because every so often they don't, you end up with your stone like a slope in the middle. Most stones end up right here, right? <laughs> right? So, what you want to do is you. You have this, this oil, this, you, you can use, see coconut oil is not too good. You see the same way how it leaves the residue on the pot. It leaves this on the stone. And what happens is that after a while the stone will get smooth, you'll notice it chewing, and the sand, and you notice it has this layer, just like what is behind the pot. That coconut oil is that, I don't know what you can do is get some of the uh, engine oil. Uh, no, 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 no. This is this here. Mm -mm. Pitch oil. Kerosene. And gas. Kerosene. So you have to get some pitch oil, you know, right? And you can get a little um, engine oil. And you mix it into, uh, you know, you, want, you don't want it too thin, you don't want it too thick. And you mix it up like that. Or coconut oil and, and pitch oil. What what the pitch oil does it have cut out? You know, as it. So I just go along, and then you ignite the mixture. Put some pitch oil and some engine oil, and you, right? Cooking oil is work. You know, it, 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 it's not something that you should. Oh yeah, that's the problem. The stone will be working until after it goes through. Sure. Right. So now, I'll be doing this simple way how I learned it when I was doing it. In Pablo Seco, 20 years, 20 plus years ago by Mr. Sonny Kiki. You know, that's all, that's where I started in Pablo Seco. 20 years plus. So you take it out, you know, right? So, you, so I wanted to see how people to see how it has come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come out. Mm -hmm. And slide back. Come out. Well, should we first? I don't know, I know you know, but I like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, you're not going to put it so. You're putting the jack plane back or any form of plane together. I want to show you people because a lot of people make this mistake and they ask me how it does not go this way. No, mm -mm. it goes this way. Right? This rounded part is going to go on the flat side, in other words, it's not going to go. So it has to go this way. Hope on the thing set. But then yeah, that is what they teach me when I was doing. Right. So you are ready for the edge and what you're going to do is you're not putting it up. You're not going to the coarse side. Right? Nope. You're going to the smooth side. Right? And you get a piece of cloth where you can do what you have to do. You're not going to the coarse side. Right. So now, I don't know what. So, and if, if you are able to do the sharp stone, right? Now you can be going this way, or you can go this way, right? Look, I will tell you what angle it is said that it's supposed to be in, but that will be another video. What angle they say, what is cell and how and all these things. But you know, this is just a. So we're going to put the edge on the plane. So, here, here. Put it. Hands up. Up. Down. Back to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good sister. Yeah. Yeah, it's the sun, man. Make up some light. So you don't watch. I will bring it down closer in some of our videos so that people can actually see. 
right? If you just see that you see that, yeah, it's an only movement, but the end suppose it's an only movement, but since this is the other part, I will pay it to the other person. Because if you say not suppose it's down on bench, then you will shovel right going and it's the only bench and it's the only bench. Right? So we go back here. Now. You know? And let me lay both hands. They come over this side here, so right? You know that was you're going so and you're going so you're going some people is telling you, but you know you have to keep your hands flat. And one of the things that I tell people about sharp them too, right? Is you want to get the feel in your hands. You see the gadgets, these are the gadgets and things that help you keep the angle. What happens when you don't have that gadget? When we were learning to it, everybody learned to sharpen the play like this. Hmm? Why not? I'm not right. You didn't know how to watch the angle and you put the fingers, right? Press it like that, and you start in a motion. Right? Right? And you know, you, you want to use a double wrist here, a wrist of the whole thing. That's you. Okay, you want to get the feel in your both hands. Right? Right? See you. Watch what I will do here. Uh huh. Then how we can see your feet. Alright, so we come we'll be back to mount up the plane and in another session. Okay? See you in the mount up plane. Anyway, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. I want to get some tea.